Hello, today is February the 7th and I'm just here with a quick news update video for Lotro. Some general news. Cordovan on his stream said they're working hard on their producer's letter. He did say that hopefully they would finish within a month, but as we've seen from last year, it could take longer, but that's going to be interesting to see what they have planned for this year. And I will, of course, cover the producer's letter when they finally release it. War of the Three Peaks will soon be available for Lotro points in the Lotro store. If people didn't buy it yet, you should be able to soon. And there's no plans for PvMP on the legendary servers as of yet. Cordovan did mention that this is something they might look at probably when the legendary servers catch up to the live servers. As with every year, the Illumin skirmish event is coming back. It starts on February the 10th and ends after about a month on March the 8th. And quite conveniently, we're getting the 25% square marks boost weekend. It starts one day after. So it might be a good weekend for people to do a lot of skirms. And we also do have a screenshot from what appears to be like the wrapper reward from this year. Let's have a look. On the screen right now, you can see an item called positive portent. Apparently, this is found during the Ill Omens event, but I'm guessing it's the wrapper reward to be able to trade for these uh, tokens. One of them has a really low evade buff or BPE buff. One is max morale buff. And of course, the 39% damage one is by far the strongest one. Maybe even for tanks, the damage would just be better. So this appears to be the main reward from this year's Ill Omens event. There is also some Update 29 news. Update 29 is going to bring a new zone called Wildwood. This will not be a mini expansion like the one we just had in Elder Slide. And the thing about this zone, it's going to have mid-level content like 45 to 50 it appears like. But of course, it's a new zone. It's also going to have endgame stuff. That's going to be kind of interesting to see how they deal with that. Something we haven't really seen. And there's also been a promise of at least one three man instance coming with this update. So it could be more, but most likely just the one. Now, if you're wondering where Wildwood is going to be located, there's actually some in-game stuff we can take a look at. Um, right now I'm in Tinadir. The Dockmaster has always been here. How can I be of service? You can see he has something that hasn't always been there. The Trader's Wharf. As well as Buckland. I don't think this has been here. You can actually just port to Buckland in, uh, in Breelands. Far west of Breelands. But the interesting part is going to the Trader's Wharf. It's at the very southeast part of Evendim, all the way down here. You can see you have a couple of boats, a dockmaster, and a house. Nothing big, but there appears to be a road leading this way. But right now it's blocked. But I um, I think for sure we can uh, say that this is Wildwood. Because if I just do a simple trek as a hunter, a bunch of Wildwood enemies show up. So a Wildwood bear. What else? Dorn. There's like... Uh, I mean Wildwood, it's a forest. So if I track this bear... See that he's pretty close, only 77 meters. So it's pretty clear that this will be at least one entrance 
into the new zone, Wildwood, which will release with update 29. So new zone. I was able to click a horn before. I wasn't now though. Let me try again. And I could see the level. Nah, no, it's not there anymore. Oh, there we go. Wildwood Boar, level 46. You can kind of see the level range they're aiming for. It's like Angmar level. It's going to be interesting to see... I guess this part here is going to be Wildwood at the bottom right here. Big space. It's sort of... Between Bree, the Shire and Evendim, like... I guess this area here. And between North Downs. So to the left of North Downs and east of Evendim. It's gonna be interesting to see how many how much the content they're gonna put into this little area, Wildwood. I'm looking forward to seeing uh It's nice seeing a zone that's not endgame. Or not entirely endgame. We'll see how that turns out. But that was all the news in this video. Thank you for watching, leave a like, subscribe, join my Discord, monthly giveaways, a lot of Lotro discussion, helpful advice, anything you need for Lotro, and I'll see you in the next one.